Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man and so today I want to make a video about how to mineralize distilled water. I'm doing this video actually due to so many emails, so many questions of people who've been asking me the same question. I've talked about it in a couple other videos, but I just thought I'd make a video specifically for this because obviously normally I'm, I'm really, really into hydrogen. That's what I'm really, really interested in because of all the amazing kind of miraculous benefits that it has and all the scientific research showing that kind of stuff. However, I personally really like distilled water. I like it because of the way it tastes to me. And, you know, and it, to me, it's the cleanest water. I mean, there's other waters that I'm fond of too. I mean, reverse osmosis water is great. You know, filtered water is great. I'm just a huge fan of distilled water. I'm kind of a water connoisseur. And to me, the taste of it and the feeling of it is what I go by for me. And that's just what I like. So that's what I use. And I don't put minerals in it all the time just because I prefer the taste of it just the way that it is. But I do mineralize it like every other gallon that I drink just to get some of those minerals in me. And this is what I personally use. I use this concentrate stuff here, if you can see it there. And they're concentrate minerals. If you notice, it says low sodium because I also use something called Soleil that I actually make. And I'll use some Soleil also in the water it actually tastes a little bit better to me probably with the Soleil, but both of them are fine. I, I actually just prefer plain distilled water all on its own, but I'll use some of this. I don't put nearly as many drops as they recommend. I think they recommend like 45 drops per gallon. There's no way that I could handle the taste. I didn't really like it when I would put that many drops. I probably put something between five, 10, maybe 15. I don't put that many. I just kind of do a quick thing like this just to have some of the minerals in there. And that's it. I mean, most of my minerals, I think I really get them from, you know, most of the fruits and the vegetables. And there's so many other um, ways that I eat where there's minerals within the food. And so in the water, you know, I just put it in there periodically. And that's about it. So I'll put it, by the way, I'll put a link below if you guys want to know where I got those minerals. It's an Amazon link. And if you guys want to help the channel, you can use that link for any of your purchasing needs on Amazon. So you can just go through that link and then buy whatever you want. It doesn't cost you anything, it's free, but it does help the channel. So if you wanna help the channel, that's great. If not, it's all good guys. You don't have to do it. And that's about it. I hope that you found the video helpful. If you did, of course, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe because I'm gonna have some really great videos coming out here soon. I'm really planning for some really big ones here in the near future. I just haven't gotten around to it just yet. It's taking more time for these specific videos that I'm gonna be doing. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe for that. And thanks for watching guys. See you next time on the next video.